Now I can type on this phone without my hands blowing off. This product is J Calcifer, and this is a 5200 milliamp hour power bank, but not just a little heavy aluminum power bank, it's actually a virtual keyboard, and I will show you exactly that. I was excited to review this, and you can see that you can plug in your USB to charge right there, this to charge it, and there's your power and the LED indications in there. On the front side, there's little LEDs in there for the laser, and that might be the sensor, and on the bottom, you can see the input and output and efficiency. Nothing on the back, nothing on the sides. This is the exciting thing about this. Get out of, get out of the view. Okay, so I'm gonna hold on the power. And look at that. Do you see that? So what we're gonna try here is tapping on the keys. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. That is pretty cool. On the bottom we have a white LED flashing to pair our Android or iPhone. And we can see laser keyboard, press on that, and it stopped blinking. So now on my exploding Galaxy Note 7, let's compose a tweet. Move this to the side, zoom it up. This is too cool for school. <laughs> let's type a bit faster. That was a little bit too fast, actually, obviously. Does everything that I'm pressing on the escape... Whoa, okay, that pushed the keyboard back. A little bit darker. Let's do what this does. Whoa. As I was typing around, this had a little speaker. Take out the S Pen so my hand doesn't blow up. So I'm gonna see if this will play audio. Wow. This actually has a speaker built in. This is a dual layer Bluetooth beanie, which allows you to connect your phone, tablets, computers, not only for listening to music, but for answering and making calls. I, I don't think you're going to be using this for an actual Bluetooth speaker, but it's definitely there if you want to use it as that. We have a laser keyboard. Let's see, cool loser tech. And it does have multi-touch. Shift and three makes a hashtag. There's a money symbol. But check this out, it is not done. You can dim down the keyboard by holding FN and then you can brighten it up. And if you hold FN again, you can go into the mouse pad. Check this out on the phone. There is a mouse pad going on right my mouse pad, mouse pointer. But this is the mouse pad. Doesn't detect out here or out here, but it does in the center of it. So if I go down to the browser, Look at that, I clicked on it. I just clicked on my desk with this virtual, and you can go, let's see, multi-touch. Oh my god, it totally does multi-touch. It this that is crazy. That is that just blew my mind that the fact that it can detect my scrolling. This I'm just figuring this out as I'm going. That is incredible. Like, can you seriously not be impressed by this? But if you want to turn that off, bro, that bow. That's just super cool, you guys have to admit. And there's something else in here, which I forgot, is the power cable. And of course, it's a charger for our phones as well. And this is what we'll plug in to give a micro USB device as a charge. And if you're ready to charge it when it dies off on you, it should last for a long time. 5200 milliamp hour battery is a lot. And then you can charge this on your outlet. But since I have a USB type C, I have to use my own cord here, which is totally fine. Now let's hope I don't explode. Yeah, you wish. I'm alive. Power connected. I don't have to press anything on here. No more charge. Again, you wish. Charging 41%. Very nice. So there you guys have it. This is pretty heavy for how small it is. Of course, if you just want a power bank, you don't need to go with a laser one. And there you guys have it. If you want for yourself, find it in the description down below. And as always, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Later.